Hello. Picking up right where we left off. I think what I'm gonna do, Casey Care, is I'm gonna add two posts. And I have one sort of halfway between here and the very most forward one. And then build out kind of, and I have then something structural to then go further out to. So just kind of like baby steps working my way out. Um, so that's kind of what my plan is. This is all bedrock, so I'll anchor, anchor bolt all into here, and that's about all I can say. So I've got Riley with me. I would have sort of preferred if he stayed down at the cabin, but he wanted to come. He doesn't do very well on the, like, the construction site side of things. Uh, he's afraid of every little thing that I do. Every move I make, he's afraid. So I've got him uh, slathered in peanut butter and trying to keep him entertained for me to be up here for, I don't know, a couple hours, I would say. Hopefully we'll see what I can do. <laughs> the other thing I noticed was I had thrown these. This is the shorts I keep the earplugs in the, in the back pocket. I washed them, but I forgot to take the earplugs out. And there's only one now and I saw one in the wash and I was like where did that come from I still haven't found my other saw so I bought this is the bigger kind of the brushless the, the better bigger version of it I did kind of browse around while I was walking up but I haven't really tried to look for it again I think I'm just going to do some compass bearings and then do more searches and if I find it I'll let you know So I'm not sure what I did exactly wrong. I was pretty confident I measured this deck square. <clears throat> Nonetheless, it's off, which I really, like, it's not that big of a deal. This is already off. Like, this was not square before. So I kind of have to make this look as good as I can. You know what I'm saying? Hi, oh, sweetie. Oh boy. Now I'm trying to determine the length of this, this outside joist. Uh, I don't really know how to measure for it other than to measure from the end there to the inside on here, which I would assume, I guess, is about the same length. Do I be precise or do I give myself a little bit of extra? I actually had a really hard time trying to figure out the lengths of the two outside joists, mainly because things aren't square. The initial cabin and deck frame wasn't square to begin with, and even though I measured the first part of my deck addition to be square in my mind, I'm still screwing up somewhere. I ended up cutting the outside joist longer than the inside joist measurement would be, based on the unsquare nature of things, picking an arbitrary 7 feet and hoping for the best. I knew if it was longer than it needed to be, at least I could trim it but cutting it too short would not be ideal. This part is gonna get really, this is really hard for me. It's so not square, like I don't have any way to get, to reference a measurement from the previous deck to this deck, cause it's so not square. But I can't tell, that looks like it's the right length, but I measured it longer than it, quite a bit longer than it referred to for this line. So I, it's really deceiving. So I'm struggling a little bit to try to figure out how to measure for this board. I don't think I can put the post in, this first post, until I kind of have it square enough, square enough that it's not gonna make it way off, right? If I bolt in. Why don't I do this one first? Rather than doing one long one this way, I'll do one like this, and then I'll do two shorter ones this way. I don't know if I'm able to really explain why this is so confusing for me, but you know, if you look at that, that's not square. If you look at this, 
that's not square. So it's, this, this board is a little bit warped too. It's kind of curving in. So it's really hard for me to figure out what to do here. I think what I'm gonna do is at least cut these boards back so that everything is the same running on, you know, along here. And at least visually that might help me. If that makes sense. I think it's pretty obvious at this point I am not going to be making this square. I, I just need to make it look <laughs> half decent and move on. Okay, getting that last little bit out was a bit tricky, but anyway, it's a bit messy here. But at least now, I feel like I'm on to something. I have a fairly straight, consistent line to work from. So if I start from here and just measure from the outside, you know, as close in as I can, and I'm just going to kind of use this as my guide, this measurement, and I can tell already, 46 and a quarter, which is telling me already, I already know that that, that board is um, curved in. I think that's my best bet, you guys. <laughs> I'm just putting this little temporary piece of wood that's cut to this length that I need based on that measurement over there so that I can push this out some. Okay, you can see the two by six there. So I was like, why don't I just take a two by four and just run it along the front here and see how close that is to being okay. And can you see that? And it actually is, it's going to be not too bad. It's probably going to be off a bit, but I was going to, uh, Put this end board on but I won't be able to reach to I won't be able to reach to install it properly so I thought I have it relatively where I want it to be so why don't I start working on this post now then I'll have it some sort of structural support to you know lean over towards sort of you know Oh, where's the plumb bulb? Where should I put this? Right here? Sure. My bit of bedrock here is not great, especially where the post needs to go. I could put it on the outside where it would sit more on the rock. There's just kind of a big drop there you can see. And then it's rock again here. So do I try another spot? I actually thought this piece of wood that I milled, I'd, this was like a spare, one of the posts for the timber frame. I thought it was cedar, but it's not. It would have to go like that. And the contact point isn't that great. I remember exactly what tree this was and it's Hemlock or fir. So I'm gonna look around and see if I can dig to a, a better spot. It, it looks really good in the middle here. Do some, something like that for this part. Okay, I sort of found basically this joist that's gonna run this way. Hi, sorry. It's gonna go this way. 
I just tried to roughly find center. I cannot find my string line for some reason. And there's this one spot that does kind of line up to the center. This might be my best bet, just tall enough to. So that's progress. Now what? So should I run one this way? Or do I somehow try and get myself out there to get that front board on? These are the questions that I have for someone. <laughs> Okay, I finally found my chalk line. I just wanna see. I think this is gonna work. Drills right into her leg. Ah, uh, speed score. I hate wearing that tool belt. It's kind of dangerous. It's just too big. I'm crawling around too much out here that it's more of a hazard than a help. I have to be very slow and methodical with my movements. Okay, I got it in. I still have to put the joist hangers on, but I kind of just held the post up and it's in a pretty good spot. It's perfect without doing any kind of lap join, like any kind of notch. It's perfectly plumb and everything, but I'm gonna still add a little bit, even half an inch. All it really needs is something to sit on to give it more structural support. Um, so I probably will do that, but that's all for tomorrow. It's like quarter to seven. So I'm gonna pack up and Clean up and go down. notice how tired my my feet are when you're working on a slope like this which is one of the reasons why I'm always like at a deck because it's just so nice to walk on something flat and work on something flat my feet get really sore complaint number 63 there you have it now for some reason having that little bit of wood down there which is just has a few screws to catch a tool for some reason 
it's making me feel more secure. An, un, an unrealistic sense of security. New day, same clothes. Why dirty? Why dirty more clothes and make more work for myself? But I'll leave it a mystery as to whether I change my underwear or not. Especially my my left foot. Oh, I have a cyst growing on my foot. It looks like a bunion, but it's a cyst. Right, you know, on this thing. I bet you it's from like a lot of this. Dance moves on the cliff. Old age. some reason, if I have the earplugs in, I grabbed another one from the cabin. <laughs> if I have them in, I feel like I can't talk. And you're like, maybe that's a good thing. Here, I'll show you. I'll have to fix that top a little bit. Oh, I gotta paint the bottom. Whoops. Bottom is painted and I trimmed the top with the, that Japanese pole saw. I should have just used my chainsaw because it took me forever. I measured this to see if it's in the center. It's not quite in the center, but it's where it sits best on the rock. ain't going anywhere either. Anybody? You need the calories, man. I'm feeding the little, the little chipmunk coming around. Eating him too. But now Lenny's on to him. Is that your friend, Lenny? That's our friend. That's our friend, Brendan. How close he's getting. Gentle. Cute. <laughs> Good boy, Lenny. really quite sure how I how I screwed it up I'm just trying to figure it out not it's not a big deal as long as it kind of looks okay but I measured it like a lot so I was measuring something wrong because I have boards doubled up in places some places and not other places 
anyway. Yeah, it's hard to tell how that's going to go. It's all kind of going to be a little bit skewed, I think, but... Sorry for the wind. This is where my discrepancy is really going to show up. And trying to... Yeah, those boards aren't going to line up. I'm going to have that big gap there. And then you can really see that it's not so good. I think what I should do... Sorry, windy. Let me do it over here. I think what I should do is maybe just add a little sliver on that really wide gap or do I remove some of these boards back and kind of slowly shift them. Okay, I made a decision to back the screws out to here and just kind of slightly adjust each board. You know, the gaps are going to be bigger here, but this way I've got it so that the boards now are going to line up and I can run them and they can look relatively in line and straight. Relatively. Some people would like to call that a mistake. I call it art. Like, what do you call a guy with no arms, no legs on your wall? Art. I just put that 2x4 there, and that's pretty much how it's going to go. I might actually use that as a template for the big cedar post. Um, this is where it gets so dicey. I just had to not film. It's also so windy. I can't really explain anything while I'm out there. I 
have the post set where it's going to go and I have to make a decision that I'm not going to notch out the joists into the post simply because I just can't I mean I can it's just really 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 awkward and that post is really heavy and I'm leaning forward and it's a bit sore on my back and I almost lost it like it almost slipped down so I just thought you know what it's not structural to the cabin I know that it would be 100% stronger if I did notch the post out to fit those joists in there a little bit but I have to just kind of make a decision about it my safety is more important Smokes, man. The leverage was hard. <sighs> okay. to tie in at the last part just there for show anyway okay so I, I'm gonna put a second one in not today it's almost 4 p.m. I'm actually I've packed up I'm gonna head down I gotta hike down I gotta clean the cabin a bit pack up and drive home tonight and I don't want to rush for this last part so I still have probably a good hour and a half's worth of work and that's just pushing my time limit so I'm gonna come back and do this another day but same video for you so I'll see you back So I'm hiking up to go finish the deck and Steve is going to finish working on the trail and he's kind of gathering rocks for where the ore car is going to go to kind of build it up. So I'm not going to be filming him unfortunately because I need to go do my deck. So I've asked him to at least take like a couple pictures of something progress because it's part of the hot tub series I guess. Anyway. I see the rats held their weekly community meeting on this rock talking about the new deck being built.
Okay, you guys, that's it. I do want to add one more anchor bolt. I have it here. Uh, Steve needed to, to use the rock drill, so I will just have to do it the next time I'm out, and then it will be fully complete. And actually, I think I might add a, a couple of braces like that. It feels totally fine, but it wouldn't hurt to add that. So I think I'll do that as well, but I'll have to do that the next time that I'm here. That's all I can do for now. So anyway, and I think it looks pretty good, visually pleasing for not being a square, not have not having been a square structure to, to work on. I'm happy with it. What a difference it makes. It's gonna be such a game changer <laughs> to finish working on this cabin. And yeah, I think next is the dealing with the insulation and the Tyvek and getting windows in. I think that's my next step. So thank you all for watching and I'll see you in the next video. How did it go? One more load. I just got back down from, I just got down. Nice. nice. Yeah, one more gravelly go up a bit more. Nice. What do you think? Looks good.